Hi folks, welcome to Solara Technical. In today's video, I'm sharing an animation about how a fuel cell works and whether it could be a good alternative to either a battery bank or a generator. In my last video, I described what an inverter is and gave you a few examples. The link's at the end of this video. So what exactly is a fuel cell anyway? Our friends at Plug Power have allowed me to use their animation to explain. Plug Power is a leader in motive, that is mobile, fuel cells. Their products are used extensively in forklifts at warehouses for Amazon and Walmart, as well as many other companies. The magical part of a fuel cell is something called the proton exchange membrane. This membrane strips off the electrons, generating a DC voltage, while allowing the protons to pass through to the other side, hence the name. Any number of fuel sources can be used to power a fuel cell. Plug power uses hydrogen. In this animation, hydrogen is attracted to the membrane by the oxygen atoms on the other side, where electrons are stripped off and the protons pass through. Air is forced in by fans and oxygen from our atmosphere is combined with the hydrogen protons to form water and heat. As you can see, it's very environmentally friendly. As stated earlier, the output voltage of a fuel cell is a DC voltage, so you can connect directly to a DC power bus. In the telecom world, fuel cells are stationary, but what are they good for? A generator replacement or a battery replacement? When presented with a load, a fuel cell has a short delay in producing its DC output voltage while the exchange gets started. This delay is usually longer than the time a practically sized capacitor bank can provide for. So, a small battery bank is used, perhaps only a few minutes worth. Once running, as long as the fuel is supplied, the fuel cell will run indefinitely, making it a great generator replacement. Unlike a generator, the only moving parts in a fuel cell are the fans used to force air into the unit. In order to keep the fuel cell ready for immediate use, it must be cycled on every week or so for a few minutes, just to keep the proton exchange membrane wet. From a cost standpoint, fuel cells are competitive with generators above about 5,000 watts, and this number is dropping all the time. When environmental requirements are stringent, nothing beats a hydrogen fuel cell for quiet operation and green exhaust when compared to a generator. As always, if you'd like help with fuel cells or anything related to power, give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.